and welcome to another CPD short from Complete Mathematics. And this time we're going to be taking a look at one of the many proofs of Pythagoras' theorem. And I particularly like this proof in the way that it ties together three or four different areas of school level maths to arrive at the proof. So to start with we've got this right angle triangle here labelled up as standard with the hypotenuse C. And we're going to make an exact copy of this triangle. So up here this length here is going to be B. We've got this right angle here, so this length here is A, and then draw on the hypotenuse C. So we've drawn a congruent triangle to that. And we're also going to join this point here to this point here to form a new third triangle. Now this third triangle is obviously isosceles because we've got these two lengths of C and C. But what we want to prove is the size of this angle here. And can we prove that it's 90 degrees? And here's where our first bit of school level maths comes in. The fact that angles in a triangle and on a straight line sum to 180. So if I call this angle X here and this angle Y, we know that X plus Y must equal 90 degrees. And why do we know that? Well, we've got angles in a triangle and we've used this 90 here already, so we've got 90 left. So if this, if this x and y are worth 90, then in the other triangle that we drew here, this is y and this is x. Uh, it must be true that x and y is 90 as well. Now, look at this straight line here that we've got. We know x plus y is 90 degrees and it lies on a straight line. So what's left is 90 degrees, so this here must be a right angle. Okay, now the next bit of school level maths we're going to use is area of a triangle. The area of each of these triangles here is just base times height divided by 2. So this triangle here is A times B divided by 2 and this triangle here is A times B divided by 2. I've got two of them so I could just say their areas combined will just be A and I'm also going to add to that the area of this third triangle here. So I've got C times C divided by 2, or C squared divided by 2. So the area of these three triangles is this expression here. Now, we also know another way how to calculate this area of this shape, because the outside of the shape is a trapezium. And here's where the next bit of school level maths comes in. We learn how to find the area of a trapezium by adding the parallel sides, multiplying by the height, and then dividing by 2. So we know that the area of this trapezium, which will be equal to the area of these three triangles, will be A plus B, the parallel sides, multiplied by the height, which just so happens to be A plus B as well, and then we divide it by 2. Now, all we have to do now is multiply this out and, and see what happens. Now, I'm going to get rid of these um, division by 2s to start with by multiplying everything by 2. So that's going to leave me with 2ab plus c squared equals a plus b squared. And if we've learned how to expand binomials here, we can do that. And that's going to give us 2ab plus c squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. These two terms here will now cancel out. And that will leave us with c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Pythagoras' theorem. So, I'm sure we've all got our favourite proofs of Pythagoras' theorem, so it'd be really great if you could post your thoughts, comments or proofs in the thread below.